morning everyone, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Barbecue 24-7, where for, if you don't know, I'm basically doing barbecue all week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, trying all the different barbecues that I've got and a few different foods and recipes. Um, and this morning, I've got the firebox out. And there's the firebox. Uh, these things kick out an immense amount of heat when they're filled up like that. Um, if you haven't watched my firebox videos, type it into YouTube. I basically go into the, uh, the middle of nowhere, away from people, and cook up breakfasts. Um, but this morning, I'm gonna put the tuna on. There we go, quick flip, and that's nearly done. And there we go, seared tuna, a little bit of lemon, salt, tiny bit of pepper for me. But that's exactly the way I like it, though. So it's probably a little bit more done than I'd like it, but it's still a beautiful piece of fish, and I can't wait to uh, enjoy this just with a nice coffee. So see you at lunch. Let's try it. Mm. Do you like it? Oh yeah, yeah I do. Hey, it's lunchtime now, and uh, I'm gonna do the trout that you may have seen from one of the seafood videos uh, from Bristol Fish Limited, and um, I'm gonna put it on the Smoky Joe. And there is Smoky Joe, um, looking really, really ready for this fish. There she is, beautiful bit of trout there. Over she goes. And again, that's not gonna need that long. So I'm gonna have some couscous with this. I'm not cheating, I'm not heating the water up in the kettle. There it is on the pan, we'll wait for that to come up to boil. Just look at that fish. Ah, oh, can't wait to eat this, cannot wait. There we are, meal 11 of barbecue 24-7. Uh, a little barbecue trout and some tomato couscous there. That looks unreal. So I've had to come in because it's too hot outside and I've made a massive mistake. That's not trout, is it? That. I think is a sea bass. Um, I think because me and Sam uh, from Bristol Fish were talking about Chew Valley Lake and things and, and trout. I think that's what I've got into my head, but I actually think that's a sea bass. Uh, hopefully I can confirm by the time I post this. Either way, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, so sorry for calling this a trout, unless it is a trout, but I don't think it is. Yeah, so Sam's just texted me and it is bass. So again, sorry. I genuinely can't believe I've done that. I knew from uh, the second that I cut into it that it wasn't trout uh, because it was white. So <sighs> anyway, for dinner, um, we're gonna do definitely a pork belly on the spit roast and then whatever the missus brings back from shopping as well and that should be really good okay it's nearly dinner time uh, i say nearly we're probably an hour or so away but uh i've got the spit fired up again and i'll uh, show you what i'm cooking so i've got some pork belly uh roasting at the moment it's only just gone on about five ten minutes ago um ideally i would have liked to have wrapped that with string but it turns out we haven't got any. Um, so I've put it on there and locked it in as, well, as tight as I can. I've put the meter probe in there as well to give me an idea what's going on. Um, this could be a little bit of trial and error tonight, but looking good so far. That is what I've rubbed the pork in today. So eat barbecue, which is basically, as it says, it's just a, a sweet rub. I'll put a link for that as well in the uh, description. Oh my God. Look at this. I think I'm gonna have to raise it. Wow, right, this thing is done now. Uh, so we put a little extra on there now. I forgot to say as well, we actually had some potatoes sat down in those coals earlier, but I'm gonna get this off now, uh, let it rest, and hopefully this will be done um, shortly as well then. There you go, dinner tonight, spit roast, pork belly, uh, with a couple of uh, chicken wings on the side. These potatoes have come out really, really well. Uh, we just put them in the pan and put uh, some tin for them, basically just threw them in the ashes. So some garlic and oil in there. So I'm gonna carve up this pork belly and um, give it a go. Yeah, I thought I'd show you uh, it all cut up as well. So I'm happy with that. It does look a little bit pink there, but uh, I think it's just the lighting. Um, but uh, yeah, that looks really, really tasty. Okay, let's try this this pork with this rub. 
Mm. Yeah, that's sweet. Really, really tasty. Well, there's another meal eaten. Um, hope you enjoyed that. We certainly did. Uh, the rub was really, really good. Sweet, a little bit of spice. Um, it's possibly one of my favorite rubs at the moment. Um, it's a shame I didn't have any of the butcher string to get that tied up tighter, but it's worked out well. We've got two pieces for tomorrow to have uh, with something. Um, but yeah, that was really, really, really tasty. I'm looking forward to thinking up something for tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. And um, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon.